welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them, them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars, and at the moment I'm running loads of polls and votes on my Instagram so that you can vote on what I react to. Second of all, do check out my website, BethRoars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. I do lessons both in London, UK and online. And last but not least, do check out my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Beth Roars, where you can find more exclusive content and guarantee that your request definitely happens. This is a request from Michael. Hey Michael, he is one of my Patreon supporters and I am really happy because this is a British band and I've done loads of American bands recently and I'd like to listen to a bit of Milton Keynes because they're from Milton Keynes. They're an interesting band because the, the band, the instrumentalists in the bands have stayed pretty consistent but they've had loads of different lead singers. So let's have a listen to this one. Run by Jägermeister. This is not sponsored by Jägermeister. video so atmospheric like I'm on a Scandinavian mountain and there's little droplets coming off icicles. The snow is just starting to melt. I feel like I'm in Frozen. Is that the vibe I'm meant to be picking up on? I don't know. I love it. I love sort of Scandinavian influenced music. I love Bjork. Maybe I'll do a Bjork one. Although I know she's Icelandic rather than That's like, made me feel a bit emotional just hearing the tone of his voice. It's so pure and light. I don't know why that just got me. There was something in his voice that had such vulnerability and fragility. It was just straight and pure and beautiful. Oh, I, wow. The way that he crescendoed just got a bit louder and quieter again. It was, whoa, 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 whoa. And then he put a bit of tension on that note. It was like, again, I talk about this all the time, but echoing the sound of sobs and screams, it was like, oh, goodness. <laughs> Even that backing vocal was pure and round. Ooh, instead of ooh, very very British, ooh, it worked very well. And the clashes add the tension between the backing vocals and the lead. I'm stopping at loads because there's so much going on. But the first bit na -na 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 on the leaps, that harmony is super high but light as well. It's in a lovely mixed, maybe more towards head voice place, but it's it's beautiful. He's not overpowering the lead. The first time he kept it all light, the lead, 
na 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 and then the second time he really pressed into that last note na 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 and put a bit of vibrato on it and it added a bit of tension what is beautiful is these really clever clashes and how the backing vocals are kind of scooping over the top so going underneath and then over and then being a really close clashy harmony and then resolving again i am loving this it is a secret this my shot is in mystery What's cool about him is how he's closing his vowels na, 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 and you can hear his breath the, because that's just as important a sound. He, it's how you breathe when you're expressing these emotions and these slides and then opening his mouth onto the high note which is really important and said na, 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 na. Obviously, I know zero of the words, but that's what gives it those little moments of freedom. It's a real contrast between that really closed singing and then suddenly freedom and then closed singing again. Closed. Open. Okay, I will stop and just listen to the end bit after this, but the way that he is scooping onto notes so he doesn't actually hit the note that he intends to go to until quite late is really interesting. So sometimes that can sound a bit like, oh, but actually sliding up to the note and not quite hitting the note right until the end makes you feel on edge, it makes the audience feel like, Oh, what's gonna happen? It's just a really lovely tool to use and he is quite brave with it in that he's taking a long time to get to the note, whereas a lot of people will kind of slide fairly quickly. He's real taking his time. And this is what's happening a lot in this music. They're really sitting into the clashiness of it. It's so atmospheric and then you get these moments of tension. It's great, great, great. It's really, it's my cup of tea. This is what I would listen to on a nice relaxing evening. some killer mixes super balanced so what is a mix anatomically there are two sets of muscles that stretch your vocal cords which make it higher your larynx has two vocal cords in it like this and that's what produces the sound there's a muscle on the back of each one which tightens it when it's in its kind of speaking position 
and that's what makes it higher. But also, there's the muscles on the front of the larynx here, which tilts it forward and also stretches the vocal cords and makes the sound higher. Now, in chest voice, we use these ones at the back, and in head voice, we tend to use these ones, these tilting action ones. And in mix, what we want to do is use a combination of the two. Often what happens, and this is not for everyone, I find there's a real mix of people, uh, excuse the pun, but often what happens is people just completely use one set of muscles or completely the other set of muscles and aren't using a combination of the two. So that is kind of what you want to be doing anatomically. You also want to be finding different places. Actually, you might be more towards head voice than you think, but you are finding lower harmonics, lower formants that make it sound more full and chest voicey. So it might sound like a chest voice, but actually it's a head voice that has a fuller tone, or it might feel more like a head voice to the singer. And that's essentially what mix is. It's somewhere in between. It doesn't have that lighter tone of head voice or falsetto for men. If you're going pure, pure head voice, that's what we would call falsetto sound. And actually, there is so many degrees of sound that you can make of warmth of tone between your chest voice and your head voice that you can make. But these guys have got this brilliant mix and that it feels very full, it feels very stable, the folds are just vibrating very, very efficiently and it sounds punchy on these really super high notes, but not pushed. That's the problem. People push it, they push that chest voice up to try and achieve that sound, and actually moving to what feels more like head voice, and then working out how to get that warmer sound in that position is often a better way of looking at it. I love this one. And the reverb on it as well is brilliant. Don't you dare forget all. I loved it. I felt a little bit emotional after that. It was so clever. The use of rhythm in the instruments and then with those long notes, and then they would join together and some harmonies. It felt very organic, but yet it wasn't because they'd organized when they were gonna join the riffs together and do them in harmony. And then them coming in with little bits of rhythm as well, so that it was, it was so atmospheric and layered and it was just beautiful. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.